You're watching Aurora 8, proud to be serving Aurora, Colorado, and all America City. Are you a typical Coloradan? Do you prefer hiking in our beautiful mountains to video games? Or biking along the Highline Canal to baking, but we still like baking or running half marathons to just loafing around inside the house, then if your answer is yes, then that's good news. If you're looking to shed a few pounds and get into great shape, you've heard it before. We live in the thinnest state in the country. Well, statistically, that's correct. We have the lowest level of obesity, and that means you should have a lot of moral support from others who live active lives here in Colorado. They can be the key to your weight loss success. Welcome to the state of Slim, otherwise known as Colorado. I hope to get there too, to you and me. The Wellness Center right here in Aurora on the, on the Anschutz Medical Campus is where you will find two doctors who research the benefits of our mile high metabolism and are betting this is the key ingredient for success, if you live here or not. This isn't your typical diet, so get ready to open your mind. It's gonna take a change of attitude, a boosted metabolism, and a new exercise routine one that matches how your body burns calories. During the next half hour, we'll chat with one of them, one of the state of Colorado authors, and a local mom who has taken the challenge, lost the weight, and is managing to keep it all off, all 70 plus pounds of it off. She's embraced the Colorado diet and is ready to share her experience. Get ready to reignite, rebuild, and reinforce your healthy habits. It's all coming up next, right here on Dateline Aurora. still have the best theme song in America. It came as no surprise to Dr. James Hill. There was something different about Colorado and those who live here. Typically, we are a bunch of slender people, I wish, and a group that loves to live outside enjoying all the beauty that the state has to offer. So more than 20 years ago, Dr. Hill chose to move here to the University of Colorado with his mindset on developing the nation's premier research facility for studying nutrition, weight management, and the power of focusing on the positive of overall wellness. Well, he has done that and a whole lot more. Today, you can get world-class science-based and personalized instruction at the Anschutz Health and Wellness Center. Pair that with reading the book Dr. Hill created with co-author co Dr. Holly Wyatt, and you're bound to learn all the secrets that Colorado holds. State of Slim, it's called, promises to fix your meta, your meta, your met, met, can I say it, meta, metabolism and help you drop 20 pounds or more in eight weeks by following the uniquely Colorado diet. If I can say that word, we'll get it done. You'll see it is more than a, of a lifestyle and an attitude adjustment than the typical diet of counting calories and limiting foods. Here, you can still enjoy the life you love and get the body you've dreamed of. Now, Dr. Hill, the executive director of the Anschutz Health and Wellness Center and co-author of The State of Slim, is going to share all of that with us. Some of the benefits of a mile-high metabolism and how we'll get ours in the full gear. Really? I'm going to be able to get that in the full gear? Absolutely. You're kidding. No. No. I'm how serious. does metabolism play into this? So metabolism plays into it because when your metabolism is working right, your body helps you maintain weight. Yeah. You burn the food you eat. When your metabolism is not working right, yeah. it's set up so that you store more of the food you eat. So it goes into body fat rather than into fuel for fueling your metabolism. Yeah, I've always learned that we had no control of that, but we'll get, get to that in a minute. Yeah, we do. Are you from Colorado? No, How'd I grew up in Tennessee. I'm a southern boy, and I've uh -huh. lived here for 22 years. And you like it? I love it. What's the, not to like? The thin air and all. And the outdoors, the idea that we all love to be outdoors, we love uh -huh. to be fit, yeah. but we still love good food too, <laughs> right? <laughs> Absolutely. Now, we learned something unique about you on a recent tour of your facility over at Anschutz. Now, you stand up at a desk. You stand up. You, you're on your computer standing up at I the desk. I have a desk that is a regular desk, but it'll pop up and allow me to stand up and work on my computer. Okay. And it's easy to do, and I do it 
uh, for, you know, throughout the day. When mm -hmm. I think of it, I pop the desk up, I stand for a while. You burn a lot more calories just standing up than sitting. Up, uh, wait a minute, just standing just up? Just standing up, you burn more calories than sitting. But if you're not in motion. Doesn't matter. It's the, it's the muscles you use to maintain your posture mm -hmm. of standing up. Here, the chair's doing all the work. When yeah. you're standing up, your muscles are doing the work. Oh, that's the key to that's that. That's the key. It's a little bit different, so it adds up. A yeah. little bit here and there, day in, day out, mm -hmm. those little things can be very important. Yeah, yeah, I'm learning something right now. I'm going to stand up at home every chance I get. There you There's go. There's no doubt about, about, about that. Um, your approach focuses on the success stories yeah. that people have. Why the success stories instead of saying, you know, you haven't done it yet, do it better? Well, we had this idea that if we're going to figure out how to help people lose weight and keep it off, let's go out and start by studying those people that have done it, mm -hmm. that have not just lost the weight, because a lot of people do that. Yeah. They've actually lost the weight and kept it off. So in 1994, we started following a group of people. We're now following 10,000 people. On average, these people are maintaining a 70-pound weight loss for a long time. So we figured out what are they doing. Son of a gun, turns out the things they're doing can help other people succeed. Now, how many people? 10,000 10, people? 10,000. Are they all here? No, all over the country. All right, and they're having the same result then? Having the same result. So there are people out there that are succeeding. And, and it doesn't matter what climate you're at or what altitude, any of that. What it is, it's They don't easier. have to move to Colorado to lose it's the weight to keep it It's easier in Colorado. It's nope. easier. You don't have to move to Colorado. But Colorado's the state of slim. So yeah. when we started looking at what these successful people are doing, uh -huh. they're doing what traditionally people in Colorado have done. That was our eureka. People in Colorado are, are doing the same habits as these people that have figured out yeah. how to maintain weight. Yeah, and most people moved here to be outside, to be outdoors, Absolutely. to do stuff, to hike, to bike, Absolutely. run. So it's easier here because, mm -hmm. you know, you're at a party or something, people are talking about the last mountain they climbed or the race they ran <laughs> or their bike route. So mm -hmm. that's why it's so much easier. You can do it anywhere. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't have to move to Colorado. It's easier in Colorado, which is why we're the leanest state. Well, in the book you authored with uh, uh, Dr. Holly Wyatt, you talk about the body as a bathtub? Yeah, we use the analogy of a bathtub. Let okay. me walk you through As close as we it. get is a me, hot tub let, in Colorado. Let, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> how, do, how do we eat body so as a bathtub? So let me walk you through it and yeah. see if it makes sense. Okay. So uh, the analogy is your body's a bathtub. The level of water in your bathtub is your body fat or your body weight, okay. right? Okay. And so you're somebody that has a little too much water in your bathtub. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so do. what do you do to get rid of the water? Most of us... Unplug it and let the water run out. Most people turn down the faucet, which means you eat less. Okay? Ah, you turn down okay. the faucet, what happens? The okay. water comes down. Yeah. But you can't keep the faucet down because you get hungry. So as soon as you turn the faucet back up, the water comes up. Right. What we're saying is you, you actually anticipated. You got to fix the drain. Now if you widen the drain... Uh-huh. You've got to turn down the water to get the level down, yeah. but then you open the drain. Now when you turn it back up, the it water stays, stays down. down. Opening the drain Opening on your body the drain is fixing your metabolism. Fixing the metabolism. And what happens is you were born with a perfectly healthy metabolism. Mm -hmm. What happens is your metabolism gets broken when you stop moving. Our bodies are meant to move. You stop moving, your muscles stop working well, your hormones start not being as, as, as sensitive as they were before, so you have a broken metabolism. The way you fix it is you start moving again. The good news is you can fix it. And that's why kids are smaller, because they're moving all the time. They're playing constantly. And their bodies are working exactly right. You look at these people in Colorado that are active all the time, their metabolism is working perfectly. They burn the food that comes in. They don't store it as fat. They burn it as energy. Well, we have a lot of baby boomers here also thinking that, okay, as I'm aging, I'm slowing down. My metabolism is going to slow down automatically. So there is, unfortunately, there's some part of aging that you can't make up for. Yeah. But much of it you can make up for by being active. Okay. So if you look at those people that are most physically active, those are the people that actually don't give in to uh, slowing of metabolism with age as much. So exercise. Exercise. Exercise we, we is actually, the key. You say that in the actually, book. We actually don't like the exercise word. We call it moving because it doesn't matter. Move your body. 
It's fun, it's play, it's physical activity. The problem is people think of exercise. Oh, I'm gonna go get on yeah, this bike yeah, right, and I right, hate it. Right. What we're saying is any way to move your body helps. And the more fun you're having, the more likely you're gonna do it. So when you're talking about recalibrating metabolism and exercise is, is central to that then? It's central to it. To the point where if you're not prepared to permanently and significantly move your body, mm -hmm. don't bother to lose weight. You can lose it, you aren't gonna keep it off. You can get the water down in the bathtub, but as soon as you turn the water up, it's gonna mm -hmm. come right back. And that's what most people have the experience with. They've lost weight over and over and over, but they regain it. Mm -hmm. The way to keep from regaining it, you fix your metabolism. Well, we, we, have, a lot of, um, we have a lot of things in our lifestyle that's good around sitting and watching, sitting and listening. Absolutely. Okay, sitting and eating. Yes. So yes. how do we break those things and be entertained at the same time? Do we have to get out and go somewhere so we get the exercise in to get there versus staying at home watching the television set? So there are all kinds of ways to do it. Yeah. What we encourage people is to go out and have fun exercising. Mm -hmm. But d during the, uh, you can uh, put an exercise bike in front of your TV. You can get into habit of every time there's a commercial, you gotta move. There are all kinds of ways you can build movement back into your life, but it needs to become a habit. You've got to do it over and over, over. and over. You know, the very best mm -hmm. way to move your body is to walk. Get out and walk. Figure out a way. Walk with your wife. Walk with your friends. Walk and listen to the news on the radio. Get in the habit of walking every day. I have some friends that go line dancing every single week. Beautiful. Yeah. Whatever floats your boat. And it doesn't, Get out and it doesn't matter if they dance or not. It's just that they're moving. <laughs> just That's moving. If you are moving, your body is working the way it was meant to be. If you're not moving, your metabolism's broke. It's gonna be very hard for you to maintain a healthy weight. Now we always thought exercise and everything was for muscles and we gotta do things to lose fat. That's right. Okay, how do we deal with the fat? How, how do pr pr participants lose fat in the Colorado diet? So again, diet? Keep, keep in mind there are two phases. There's getting the water down, getting mm -hmm. the weight off, and then keeping it off. Yeah. The way you get the weight off is you have to change your diet. So we give you a diet that matches your metabolism. So you're starting out, your metabolism's broken. So you need a diet that's mm -hmm. gonna be, allow you not to store fat, to lose weight. So phase one in the Colorado diet's two weeks, and you're basically eating uh, veggies and lean protein because you've got to reignite your metabolism. Okay, so veggies gonna, and lean protein. What's lean protein. the lean protein? Chicken, lean, pr lean chicken, lean fish. O uh, only one, one leg instead of half well, of it. What we do is we actually don't ask you to count calories. People think they know calories, but they really don't. Yeah. So what we give you are lists of foods essentially saying, choose protein and choose carb, and we give you a little bit of fat too. Mm -hmm. So we help yeah. you make a choice during those first two weeks. Everybody loses weight during the first two weeks. My <laughs> colleague Holly, diets, Holly Wyatt says, this is the diet that works for everybody. Um, it works for everybody, but in, in, in giving them menus to do or that's right. something there, then they have to stay with those. They have that's to make a commitment weeks. to do that. So that's two weeks. Yeah. Now, during those two weeks, what are you doing? You're moving your body, right. which is you're fixing your metabolism. Yeah. Now the next phase is six weeks, and we add back some foods. So essentially, now that your metabolism's getting fixed, you can handle a little bit more things. So we add in some carbs, we add in some fats, mm -hmm. and then the third phase is another eight weeks. So the whole program's 16 weeks. During phase three, now your metabolism's working the way it was meant to be. So now your diet can be uh, up to more of a normal diet. So at the end of this program, yeah. you're not eating very differently from your friends. You're just eating smarter. We teach you to eat smarter. So it's not food restriction. You're not looking forward to a lifetime of food restriction. You're just learning how to eat smart. And most people tell us, this is the way I want to eat forever. Now, a lot of people, the first place we're, we're going to go is jump on the scale to see if it's working. Yeah. That's okay. Is, is, is that okay, or, okay. Or, or do we should, should we no, rely on more okay. of what, what we're feeling, because it's making us feel better, feel more oxygenated, Both. feel it's stronger. It's okay to look at the scale. What yeah. we tell you is when you lose weight, it's mm -hmm. not gonna be linear. In other words, you're not gonna lose the exact same each week. Mm -hmm. There are some weeks you get on the scale, you say, wow, that was great. Other weeks it may not change, as long as over time, mm -hmm. you're going down in the right direction. Yeah. And what you reach is a point where you reach a weight that you can maintain with this lifestyle. And that's our goal. 
Our goal is to get you at a weight you're comfortable with mm -hmm. and a lifestyle you can maintain forever. This is not temporary weight loss. This is a way to live your life forever. Now, you, you mentioned a little while ago vegetables and lean protein. Does your book have recipes that people can use and follow and, we have have, a, and basically schedule? We have a lot of recipes. And now that we've done this, <laughs> recipes we have the stuff we'd like to eat. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Some of the recipes are, I, I, I'm going to tell you, they are really good. And now that we've gotten more and more people doing it, people are developing their own recipes. So mm -hmm. we have a Facebook group and everybody has a Facebook group. <laughs> but one of the things our Facebook group does is to share recipes. So we have these mm -hmm. fantastic recipes and they're really really good we've served some of them at dinner parties and they don't know it they don't well they, 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 they think they, it's good food, food. And, and it's but <laughs> that's the idea we you don't want, want to. to to be sentenced to a life of eating very different from everybody else rolling foods is really important exactly in this. you got you're where we're going to get you to you're going to be eating a, a pretty normal diet you're just mm -hmm. going to be smarter about it you're going to watch things like portion size mm -hmm. you're going to not overdo the fat and sugar this is about a very reasonable approach this isn't a radical approach radical approaches do not work how about fig, work? fig newtons before uh, bed, bedtime? It's so not one a, of the not things, a, not, a, uh, not actually, a, re a recipe you're going to talk about. No, you got to do trade-offs. One of the mm -hmm. things we give you in phase two, you get one indulgent meal. Mm -hmm. Now, one meal a week, you can have anything you want. You can go and and have a burger and fries. You can have ice cream. Really? One meal, but you got to plan it. Mm -hmm. In phase two, you get two of those. And when you become very serious about doing this, you're also talking about that it's a change of attitude, and that helps you keep it off. Then. It's up here. The biggest change we make is up here. And we start with doing things like motivation. Why do you want to do this? Because this is a big change. If we tie this to what else is important in your life, what we find is it helps people stay with it. Really? Positivity. We have people come in saying, okay, I'm going to go on this diet, but I know I'm going to hate it and I don't like exercising and it's not going to work. And guess what? It doesn't work. So part of what we do is we've shown we can actually make people more positive. Mm -hmm. And then routines. Um, is, is it important what time of year you start this? Because if you're starting this in fall and you run into holiday with, with everything to eat in sight, <laughs> you know, that's it's probably harder to do then than it would be to start it in June. So our point is summer. there's always something. It doesn't matter when you start. <laughs> there's always going to be a holiday. There's going to be a vacation. A birthday, that's something. That's an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because what we're talking about You're giving is me not, no wiggle room, doctor. No, no, no room. we're talking about a permanent way to live your life. Yeah. So get started and what you're going to find. So many people say, this is the way I want to live my life forever. Mm -hmm. That's what we're after. We're not after somebody saying, oh, this is hard. We're after, this is the way I want to eat. This is the way I want to move. Mm -hmm. This is the way I feel better. I know you said it's okay if they jump on the scale. If they do and they find it went back up. Uh, mentally, they're not to backslide. How do you, well, so what we, do you tell we them to prevent that? So we actually help people to do that. So at the end, once you go through the 16 weeks, you're not done. This is mm -hmm. just to get you started. And so what we say is use the scale. If the scale goes up, you got to change something. You're not just going to hope it goes down next time. Yeah. If it goes up, it tells you you got to ramp up the exercise. You got to be a little bit smarter on your diet. Mm -hmm. are, are you finding that if people, if the scale goes up, some people pretty much know what they did. Oh, yeah. But they, oh, yeah. <laughs> they want to oh, acknowledge yeah. They totally do. And yeah. you know what? We're not perfect. Mm -hmm. If we can be pretty good most of the time, you're going to find that you can succeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you, we don't say you have to give up anything. You can have anything. You just have to be smarter about be doing smarter it. About so the Fig Newtons are okay as long as they're planned in and, and it makes sense. So you're in control. You're not letting food control you. You're controlling food. And if you move your body have a lot more leeway to yeah. have a little fun with your diet. Move my body, change the attitude, I can have the Fig Newtons. Attitude's important Attitude's and you got to believe you can do this. You really do. Okay, I'm believing you. I'm listening. There's no doubt about it. We're going to take a short break and when we come back we'll sit down with Karen Jackson. Or maybe we should stand up with her to burn more calories. Well, one way it's going to work. Anyway, Karen has completed the Stata Slim Challenge and continues to be one of Dr. Hill's greatest success stories. Maybe I might be next. That's coming up next.
At PlayGolfAmerica.com, you can tee up with PGA instructors and programs. Whether you want to improve your game or learn how to play, there are plenty of ways to make it easier to get out there and have fun. Play golf, America. All right, you guys, have fun. Target acquired. Check. Target in the pool. No, no, no. Make unsupervised pool access an impossible mission. Karen Jackson, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank We're you. impressed with your success story. 70 pounds? Yes. Woo! Don't want to trip over that anyplace else. <laughs> We're glad to have you all on the show. Tell us about, uh, about yourself and why you really wanted to do that. Um, I, I'm Karen Jackson, I'm 57, married, kids, grandkids, mm -hmm. and I wanted to lose weight because I wanted to be around. I wasn't feeling good, yeah. um, and I wanted to break that cycle of eating unhealthy. Mm -hmm. And you found the book, The Colorado Diet. I found the book, but or, I... Or did somebody tell you about it? Well, it was on campus, but I, my first weight loss, I started in May, and I lost 40-some <coughs> pounds just by counting calories and exercising, and then I maintained mm -hmm. for about nine months, and then when they came out with the study, I sent in my video and went for an interview, and I was picked, and I was excited, and that's when my... 40 pounds right out of the box? 40 pounds was before. Oh, okay the state of the slam mm -hmm. and then when I got on the state of the slam I lost almost 25 pounds in the 16 weeks. In the 16 weeks. Yes. This is, this right. is it's pretty the, typical. The, 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 the usual thing yeah. that happens. We see that pretty typically. We've had uh, up to uh, up to 40 pounds mm -hmm. in 16 weeks so it varies but most people who follow the plan get that mm -hmm. kind of weight loss. Now the doctor talks about a change of attitude, a change of lifestyle, What's a routine day for you? Do you start with a workout every morning or I, how does that work? Every morning roll? I'm at the wellness center at the gym about 5.15, 5.20. I work out mm -hmm. for about an hour and 10 minutes, get ready for work, mm -hmm. and that's it. And that's you working morning. right there. Yes. <laughs> so it makes it really easy, but I'm a morning person, so working out works out better for and me. And she's made it a routine. She does it every morning. She mm -hmm. didn't get up and think about what am I going to do today? She goes to the gym because that's no, what no, she don't, does. Don't you have some mornings where the kids are in the way and mm -hmm. you don't get it? So My I'll kids do it are tomorrow. Grown. There's no excuse. Okay, that's out the window. Never mind. We're not Enjoy giving that. you any excuses. No. You uh, notice no, we're not no, giving but some you other wiggle viewers room. Viewers may no. have smaller kids and they, you but, know, every but morning. But you don't have. Works out she okay. does it in the morning. You don't have to do it in the morning. You don't even have to do it the same every day. But you have to do is plan ahead. Mm -hmm. So if you wake up every day and say, what am I going to do today? You're probably not going to succeed. But if you wake yeah. up and say, it's Thursday. On Thursday, I walk with my neighbor. On Friday, I go and do this. Mm -hmm. It's important that you have a routine. But it doesn't have to be the same thing every day or even at the same time. What's yeah. the hardest part of being on the Colorado diet? What has that been for you, the hardest part of it? Actually, at first I thought it was eating six meals a day, but now it's maintaining. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, 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 <laughs> hold on. Hold the phone. Six meals a day? Mm -hmm. now, now, I know you were talking yeah. about yeah. planning. Yeah. Right. So we, we're, we I, want I you to eat a lot of small meals yeah. during the day, so you never get hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Helps you manage your hunger. So we actually have you eat six times. You can get by with five times. Five to six times a day. Six times a day. Yeah. All right, walk me through them. What's the first one? Um, 
Now that I'm in phase three, I have a banana within an hour of waking up. Okay, that's one. I go to the gym. When I get back to my desk, I'll have maybe pumpkin muffins or something. Oh, they're good. Okay. And, and coffee? No coffee. I drink. Just the muffin? Just the juice? muffin and ma no, no juice, water, okay. or tea. Oh, tea. I'm okay. a tea drinker. All right, that's two. Then I have uh, maybe yogurt. Okay. And then now I have yogurt's my in the middle of the day, like at 10 o'clock or something? 10 o'clock, yes. But not in lieu of lunch? No. Okay. And then All I right. have my lunch. Um, that's four salad or whatever then I have a snack and then I get home and I right. have my dinner and then I'm done for the day. And you're done? Mm -hmm. You don't try to sneak back in there t no. after the 10 o'clock news and have some popcorn? I'm asleep at 10 o'clock. Because <laughs> <laughs> you got to be up at 5 o'clock exactly. to do the routine 4 again. 4.15. So, so with all the small meals you don't get as hungry so it actually helps you keep from getting really hungry. You know we get, we'll, we'll not eat and not eat then we get really hungry and we overdo yeah. it. By eating small meals throughout the day manage your hunger a little better. So, so, so the body adjusts to the smaller Absolutely. meals. Adjusts Absolutely. Adjusts to whatever you, you You're providing you the body fuel at a constant rate, so you never get hungry. So not only did you lose the weight, did you feel more I energetic? You want to do more stuff? I can't even begin to tell you how I feel. Is Everything is better. My mm -hmm. outlook, my attitude, I feel healthy, more energy, and it's, it's awesome. It's so the number one thing we hear is I have more energy. Mm -hmm. Number one thing. More energy to do the things that are important during the day. How powerful is that? How's it been working together? Oh, oh she's fabulous. We, fabulous. We, we tease her a lot because one of the things we do mm -hmm. in the program is we tell people you have to be uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. To grow, you have to be uncomfortable. Karen's uncomfortable was when she got in the pool. Uh -huh. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to talk about that. <laughs> no, we're not going to talk about it. But you have to be uncomfortable to grow. So we mm -hmm. force people to get out of their comfort zone. And that's part of mm -hmm. adopting a new lifestyle. And Karen's been great. How's your family responded to the change, your lifestyle change? Absolutely wonderful. Everybody's on board. Um, they pay attention to what they eat. We all make smarter choices. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, I didn't even have to encourage my husband. All of a sudden, he was just like, I'm losing weight. Yeah, I was going to ask you, what kind of pressure <laughs> did you put him under? None. You know, it was just you like, know? I'm not doing another one of your diets. Mm -hmm. But then he realized, if you want to eat, you have to eat the way I eat. Mm -hmm. And he's losing weight. And now he reads the label and pay attention a lot more than I do. So everybody's on board. She's yeah. a great ambassador. <laughs> she has influenced so many people with her positive attitude. Well, you were, you were starting to give me something to think about. And I don't know, you may find me. We've so. got some classes going. We'll sign oh, you up, I Adam. knew that was coming. I knew it was coming somewhere. And the classes are, can anybody join the classes? Or how does that work? We have classes that are open. There's a fee for participating, but yeah, we sure. have, they can call us and we have classes starting all the time. We do it in groups. So Karen was in a group with 11 other people and the group really bonds and, and mm -hmm. supports each other. So we have ongoing classes okay. all the time all right, at the yeah. Anschutz Health and Wellness Center. And they're on your website. They're there, on right? our website, anschutzwellness.com. All right, Dr. Hill, Karen Jackson. Thank you both for joining us. You've given Thank me you. some inspiration and some more people in Aurora too. We're all going to be out here making our state of slim work. That's all the time we have for this edition of Dateline Aurora. We thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you back here again next month. Good night. You're watching Aurora 8, proud to be serving the all-America city of Aurora, Colorado.